keep in mind that past legislator Robert DeLong, who passed away recently, and the pledge. say about Bob DeLong, I remember him well. Um, he was a county legislator, I believe, for eight years, and uh, he ran against, or Tony Marino ran against him. He beat Tony once or twice, and Tony, I think, beat him three times, and he was a councilman in Newburgh, and he was, he was a gentleman. He was involved with a lot of different things, and uh, he will be missed. Okay, roll call. Bonasek? Yeah. Turnbull? Yeah. Amo? Anagnostakis? Present. Benton? Yeah. Berkman? Here. Benelli? Here. Cantorino? Here. Cheney? Here. Dillard? Here. DeSalvo? Present. Ekis? Here. Fagione? Here. Hines? Here. Chemnitz? Here. Kulisek? Here. Paduk? Here. Miscavige? Here. Sullivan? Here. Vero? Here. Brescia? 20 present, one absent. Okay, uh, we have one speaker signed up, but is that at the end of the day? Right, because it's real property concerns. Okay. Um, Majority Leader Bonner, second. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I move to approve the minutes of August 4th, August 23rd, and September 1st, 2016. Okay. That will be done. Um, any referrals, withdrawals, or consents? Okay. Communications A referred to all legislators, B receive and file. Be receiving file as well. Okay. Do we need to do anything on one through twenty-three? Okay. All right. Number one. Legislators Turnbull, Benelli, Hines, and Benton. Resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Department of Public Works to accept grant funds from the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation pursuant to section 99-H of the general municipal law in section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion? Yeah, Barry wants to be added. Okay, not a problem. Okay, roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Amo? Benagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cantorino, Cheney, Dillard, DeSalvo, Ekis, Fagione, Hines, Chemnitz, Kulisek, Paduk, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Bureau, Brescia. 20 ayes. Okay, number two, bond resolution requiring two-thirds vote. Legislators Turnbull, Benelli, Hines, Benton. Bond resolution dated November 3rd, 2016. Bond resolution of the County of Orange, New York, authorizing the issuance of 2,700,250 bonds of the county or so much thereof as may be necessary to finance the cost of an increase and improvement of the facilities of Beaver Dam Lake Protection and Rehabilitation District, stating the estimated maximum cost thereof is 3,700,000, appropriating said amount therefore, including the application of 999,850 expected to be received from the state of New York and authorizing the issuance of 2,700,150 2, bonds of the county to finance the balance of said appropriation. Second. Discussion. Roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli, Cantorino, Cheney, Dillard, DeSalvo, Ekis, Fagione, Hines, Chemnitz, Kulisek, Paduk, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Bureau, Brescia. 20 eyes. Okay, number four. Legislator Benton, resolution accepting and confirming the report of the apportionment of the mortgage number tax. Three. I'm sorry, number three. Number, number three. three. Okay. Number three, I'm sorry. Number three. Benton, Legislator Benton, resolution accepting and confirming the report of the apportionment of the mortgage tax for the period April 1st, 2016 through September 30th, 2016, as computed from statement filed by the county clerk. Second. Discussion. Roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cantorino? Cheney? Dillard? DeSalvo? Ekis? Fagione? Hines? Chemnitz? Kulisek, Paduk, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Bureau, Brescia. 20 eyes. 
They know number four. Legislators Benton and DeSalvo, resolution making a supplemental appropriation to the 2016 Orange County budget for the Department of Finance pursuant to section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Discussion? Yes. Yeah, I uh, voted no in committee. I'll vote no today. I think there's an extra zero on this. I think uh, someone should go back to the negotiating table, not approve this money. It's simply too much money. I can't get into the facts and details, obviously, but simply too much, and it's not the right number. I'm voting no. Okay. Roll call. Honasek? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Nagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cantorino? Cheney? Dillard? DeSalvo, Ikis, Fagione, Hines, no. Chemnitz, Kulasek, Paduk, no. Ruskevich, Sullivan, Vero, no. Russia. 17 ayes, 3 noes. And number 6. 5. Oh, you know, here, move this. I can cheat off of your sheet here. You look at the numbers. I get lost all the time. Here. Okay, number 5. Legislators Benton and Benelli, resolution approving the release of the county's interest in and to a certain detail parcel to the previous owner of record, pursuant to section 5, paragraph B1 of local law number 2 of 2010. Second. Discussion. Roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Amo? Ignatistakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cantorino? Cheney? Dillard? DeSalvo? Ikis? Fagione? Hines? Chemnitz? Kulasek? Paduk, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Vera, Brescia. 20 eyes. Okay, number six. Legislators Benton and Hines. Resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Sheriff's Office to submit an application for the Police Protective Equipment Program grant from the New York State Division of Criminal Justice Services. Second. Discussion? Want to be added, Chris? Yes, That's what I figured you would. Okay. Phil? Yep. All Republicans? Okay. And. Bernie, you want to be added to? Okay. Uh, Mike Padu. Early. Okay. Jim Kulasek. Hey, roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Nagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cantorino? Cheney? Dillard? DeSalvo? Ikis? Fagione? Hines? Chemnitz? Kulasek? Padu? Ruskevich? Sullivan? Vero? Brescia? 20 eyes. Okay, number seven. Legislators Kulasek, Turnbull, Benton, and DeSalvo. Resolution making a supplemental appropriation to the 2016 Orange County budget for the Orange County Department of Public Works, Environmental Facilities and Services, pursuant to section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Bonasek, Turnbull, yes. Benagnostakis, Benton, Berkman, Benelli, Cantorino, Cheney, Dillard, DeSalvo, Ikis, Fagione, Hines, Chemnitz, Kulasek, Paduk, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Vero, Brescia. 20 eyes. Okay, number eight. Legislators Turnbull, Vero, Benton, and Nagnostakis. Resolution authorizing the Orange County Commissioner of Public Works to contract with certain towns and villages for snow and ice control on certain county roads pursuant to Section 135A of the Highway Law. Second. Discussion? Bonasek, yes. Turnbull, yes. Anagnostakis, Benton, Berkman, Benelli, Cantorino, Cheney, Dillard, DeSalvo, Ikis, Fagione, Hines, Chemnitz, Kulasek, Paduk, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Vero, Brescia. 20 eyes. Okay, number nine, bond resolution, two thirds vote again. Legislators Turnbull, Kulasek, Benton, and Anagnostakis. Amending bond resolution dated November 3rd, 2016. Bond resolution of the County of Orange, New York, amending the bond resolution adopted May 2nd, 2013, in relation to, re to financing the cost of replacement of Corwin Bridge located in count on County Route 11 over the Shawanga Hill in the town of Mount Hope at the total estimated cost of 690000 Second. Discussion? Yes. Um, so added? Okay. Roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman, Benelli, Cantorino, Cheney, Dillard, DeSalvo, Ikis, Fagione, Hines, Chemnitz, Kulasek, Paduk, 
Riskevich, Sullivan, Vero, Brescia. 20 ayes. Okay, resolution number 10. Legislators Riskevich and Turnbull. Resolution authorizing the county executive to accept the acquisition of a permanent easement in the village of Warwick. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cantorino? Cheney? Dillard? DeSalvo? Ikis? Fagione? Hines? Chemnitz? Kulasek? Paduk? Riskevich? Sullivan? Bureau? Brescia? 20 ayes. Okay, number 11. Legislators Amo and Bonasek. Resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Attorney to accept grant funds for the 18B assigned council program from the New York State Office of Indigent Legal Services pursuant to section 99-H of the general municipal law and section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion? You want to be added, Myrna? Jim? Jim DeSalvo added? Jeff added. Curly added. Okay. And Phil Cantorino. Roll call. Anasek? <coughs> Turnbull? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cantorino? Cheney? Dillard? DeSalvo? Ikis? Fagione? Hines? Chemnitz? Kulasek? Paduk? Riskevich? Sullivan? Bureau? Brescia? 20 ayes. Number 12. Legislators Cantorino and Sullivan. Resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Department of Health to appropriate 50 year budget period funds from the New York State Department of Health pursuant to section 99-H of a general municipal law and section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Second. Mr. Martin wants to be added, okay. Early added, okay. Roll call. Bonasek, Turnbull, yes. Anagnostakis, Benton, Berkman, Benelli, Cantorino, Cheney, Dillard, DeSalvo, Ikis, Fagione, Hines, Chemnitz, Kulasek, Paduk, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Bureau, Brescia. 20 ayes. Okay, number 13. Legislators Ikis and Benton. Resolution authorizing the county executive to submit the action plan for FY 2017 to the Department of Housing and Urban Development, HUD, for the purposes of applying for and accepting certain federal funds for the Urban County Entitlement Program Community Development Block Grant Program, CDBG, pursuant to Section 99-H of a general municipal law. Second. Discussion, Myrna, added. Katie added. Jeff, Mike Padu, Early. Roseanne. Basalvo, Cantorino. Just say whoever, who doesn't want to be added, it would be probably be easier for me. <laughs> Wait, we're going. I'm sorry. Okay, roll call. Bonasek, yeah. Turnbull, Anagnostakis, Benton, Berkman, Benelli, Cantorino, Cheney, Diller, DeSalvo, Ikis, Fagione, Hines, Chemnitz, Kulasek, Paduk, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Vero, Brescia. 20 ayes. And number 14. Legislators Berkman and Benton. Resolution authorizing the county executive to submit the action plan for FY 2017 to the Department of Housing and Urban Development, HUD, for the purposes of applying for and accepting certain federal funds for the Home Investment Partnership Program, HOME, pursuant to Section 99-H of a general municipal law. Second. Discussion. Myrna added. DeSalvo, Katie, Chris, Roseanne, Curley, and Mike Paduk. Focal. Anasek, Turnbull, yes. Anagnostakis, Benton, Berkman, Benelli, Cantorino, Cheney, Dillard, DeSalvo, Ikis, Fagione, Hines, Chemnitz, Kulasek, Paduk, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Vero, Brescia. 20 ayes. And number 15. Legislators DeSalvo and Fagione. Resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County District Attorney's Office to accept and appropriate grant funds from the New York State Department of Criminal Justice Services pursuant to section 99-H of a general municipal law and section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion, Jim Kulasek added. Okay, roll call. Bonasek, yes. Turnbull, yes. Anagnostakis, Benton, Berkman, Benelli, Cantorino, Cheney, Dillard, DeSalvo, Ikis, Fagione, Hines, Chemnitz, Kulasek, Paduk, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Biro, Brescia, 20 ayes. 16. Legislators Fagione and DeSalvo. 
Resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County District Attorney's Office to accept and appropriate grant funds from the New York State Department of Criminal Justice Services pursuant to section 99-H of a general municipal law and section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion? Yes, Chris. Uh, yeah. Added? Yep, no problem. Early two. Early two, yes. No okay, welcome. Bonasek? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. And Agnostakis? Benton, Berkman, Benelli, Cantorino, Cini, Dillard, DeSalvo, Ikes, Fagione, Hines, Chemnitz, Kulasek, Paduk, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Bureau, Brecht, 20 eyes. And add Kulasek to that too. And DeSalvo? Murder? Yes. You're already on? Yeah, okay. I'm sorry. Yes, you are. Okay. I just made me lose track. We're 17. Legislative Fagione de Salvo. Resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Department of Emergency Services, Police Services, to accept and appropriate grant funds from the New York State Governor's Traffic Safety Committee pursuant to section 99-H of the Municipal Law and section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion. Jim de Salvo, you want to be added? Yes, okay. Uh, Jim de Salvo. Or is he on it? He's on it. He's already on You're being a wise guy. <laughs> Okay, Bill Cantorino added. Roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Nagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cantorino? Cini? Diller? DeSalvo? Ikes? Fagione? Hines? Chemnitz? Kulasek? Paduk? Ruskevich? Sullivan? Vero? Brescia? 20 ayes. Okay, number 18. Legislators Fagione and Paduk. Resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Sheriff's Office to accept funds from the State Criminal Aliens Assistance Program pursuant to Section 99-H of the General and Municipal Law and Section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Second. Legislator Salvo, you're not on this. You want to be on this? You're good. Add him on. Okay. Bill Cantorino on? Okay. Curly on. Okay. Roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Turnbull? Nagnostakis, Benton, Berkman, Benelli, Cantorino, Cini, Dillard, DeSalvo, Ikes, Fagione, Hines, Chemnitz, Kulasek, Paduk, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Vero, Brescia. 20 eyes. Okay, number 19. Legislators Fagione, Benton, Bonasek, and Ikes. An act amending the appropriate Orange County employment schedules to reallocate assistant corrections administrator at the Orange County Office of the Sheriff Corrections Division pursuant to section 2.02i of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cantorino? Cini? Dillard? DeSalvo? Ikes? Fagione? Hines? Chemnitz? Kulasek? Paduk? Ruskevich? Sullivan? Vero? Brescia? 20 eyes. Okay, number 20. Legislators Fagione, Cantorino, Bonasek, and Ikes. An act amending the appropriate Orange County employment schedules to create criminal investigator at the Orange County District Attorney's Office pursuant to section 2.02i of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion? Jeff wants to be added, curly added. Okay, roll call. 80. 82, I'm sorry, Mr. Katie, sorry. Bonasek? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Nagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cantorino? Cheney, Dillard, DeSalvo, Ikes, Fagione, Hines, Chemnitz, Kulasek, Paduk, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Vera, Brescia. 20 eyes. Number 21. Legislators Paduk, Fagione, Bonasek, and Ikes. An act amending the appropriate Orange County employment schedules to abolish senior legal secretary and create associate clerk at the Orange County District Attorney's Office pursuant to section 2.02i of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cantorino? Cini? Dillard? DeSalvo? Ikes? Fagione? Hines? Chemnitz? Kulasek? Paduk? Ruskevich? Sullivan? Vero? Brescia? 20 eyes. Okay, 22. Legislators Cini, Cantorino, Bonasek, and DeSalvo. An act amending the appropriate Orange County employment schedules to reclassify Secretary and Administrative Assistant 2 to Executive Secretary and Administrative Assistant 
at the Orange County Dis Department of Planning pursuant to section 2.02i of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cantorino? Cheney? Dillard? DeSalvo? Ekis? Fagione? Hines? Chemnitz? Kulasek? Paduke? Ruskevich? Sullivan? Vero? Brescia? 20 ayes. Okay. Number 23. Legislators Paduke, Sullivan, Cantorino. An act amending the appropriate Orange County employment schedules to create the titles Assistant Cook 2 per diem and Food Service Helper per diem at the Orange County Department of Residential Health Care Services pursuant to Section 2.02i of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion? Head Chef Berkman added. Roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Turnbull? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Bergman, Benelli, Cantorino, Cheney, Dillard, DeSavo, Ekis, Fagione, Hines, Chemnitz, Kulasek, Paduk, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Vero, Brescia. 20 ayes, Mr. Chairman, and the desk is clear. Okay, Virginia Scott from Cornwall regarding real property concerns. some concerns um, but I am not one to react lightly I have gone through the chain of command and I'm here as a resident of Cornwall New York I come today as a result of the many failures of my town officials including the town of Cornwall Board of Ethics to reply to my letters in order to address the clearly obscene and illegal assessment of my property located in Cornwall. As you know, in Cornwall, they have not done a townwide reevaluation in 17 years. My home has been revalued three times, while all majority of all the residents on Willow Avenue have stayed the same. Many of our residents in Orange County and New York have been struggling to survive the worst economic crisis of our lifetime. As the housing and banking systems collapse, people lost their homes due to predatory lenders and practices where individuals purchasing homes they could not afford. As a result, Orange County, New York, was previously ranked number one in New York State in the number of foreclosure proceedings. As of recent, Orange County is now ranked number five in the state. Did property values decrease during this economic downturn? For the real estate market, yes. But in terms of Orange County real property and the town of Cornwall, no. In order to balance local, school, and county budgets and to make up revenue due to poor financial planning, the burden has been shifted onto individual homeowners who are essentially paying the equivalent of a second mortgage in property taxes. As a survivor of this financial crisis, my family has limited our spending, worked longer hours, and has been able to keep her home. Since 2012, I have stood before the town board with other homeowners who have brought their individual cases before the Orange County Court, which is the SCAR proceedings, and complained to town officials that individual homeowners are being singled out due to outdated records. And the town of Cornwall assessor's office, from the town of Cornwall's assessor's office, the assessor, and I allege this, is utilizing the practice of searching and following online real estate listings to change the assessed values of specific properties in the town and village of Cornwall instead of maintaining the entire assessment role since the last town ride revaluation conducted in 1999. If an individual in a municipality in Cornwall purchased or obtained a building permit to improve their home after the year 1999, there is a good chance that the property was selectively assessed a clear violation of New York State Constitution and of civil rights which guarantees equal protection under the law. Even though the town of Cornwall is currently in the process of a townwide reevaluation, I have attended all of the meetings over the past two years. And during public comments, I asked why this has been neglected and suggested the town follow the decision of the town of Newburgh and 
due to an early assessment of real property over to the county of Orange. My questions are consistently answered by silence. Oh, okay. Okay. You have any more seconds or what? Okay. Well, the bottom line is, if I were, I did yeah, give you this letter. I'm sorry, sir. Okay. This is six years worth of craziness. That's all right. You have thousands of dollars. I am asking you to examine the um, court proceedings. I have been delayed for over three years. I have paid uh, attorney's fees for letters that have not been answered by attorneys in Cornwall. And I am waiting for December 5th. That is hopefully the day I get in front of a judge. My question to you, does justice come to people who can out-litigate municipalities? That's all I'm asking. I'm asking you to begin to examine, and I would personally like you to take this over because here's, the, here's my goals. I am asking you for oversight, I am asking you for protection, and I'm asking for transparency. If I bought a car, would I get all the taxes ahead of time and I would know what I'm paying? I buy a house, shouldn't I get the same respect? That's not what happens. So I do have one proposal. If you purchase a home or obtain a building permit, you should require the assessor by law to prepare a projected assessed value statement provided to a potential buyer or homeowner before the purchase is finalized or construction begins. I think that's transparency, and I think that's informed consent. Um, you have the copy of the letter, and any assistance you give, and I know some of this is out of your control, but I feel powerless, I feel bullied, and I need someone's help. Thank you. Thank you. Virginia, and I would suggest maybe you call uh, Commissioner of Real Property, John McCary's office. And I, that was part of my letter, so I cut myself short. Okay, he can maybe um, offer you some did, solutions. I don't know if we, did it, it's a home rule state, I don't know if we we can do anything about what goes on in Cornwall. Other towns, we've taken over the assessment um, for can certain towns. I say towns. what he said? He said it was obscene right. what was done to me. Obscene, and he would okay. give you a strong well, talk. Well, if he has a suggestion for something that no, we have, he, we could do within our power, we can certainly look at it. That's, can I finish this last statement? I'm, I'm yep, go ahead. I, we don't usually go back and forth, but I'm just, you're I, the only speaker today. Okay. So. I have. That was part of the letter, and you'll see this. I did. I went through the chain. And when I put it in writing, Mr. McCary said he does not get involved in legal proceedings. And I, I get that. But there again, I'm not responsible, you know, and I can just continue to bear the burden to fight something. I, I see these things in your minutes about legal, you know, uh, for legal fees for other people. I'm on my own on this, and that's not right. You want legal aid? I think someone should, people, there should be a fund established for people who can fight it. I'm rendered powerless. Mr. Chairman, can we yes. all get a copy of that letter, please? Well, I, I, it's by email. Yes, and we could talk to Mr. McCary and just see if there's anything that right. refreshes. Thank, thank you so much. For, okay, for thank you, Virginia. Okay. Okay, before we adjourn, yeah, okay. before we adjourn, I'd just like to remind everyone we have a special meeting of Ways and Means here next Wednesday. What time? Right, next Wednesday, the 9th. All legislators invited. What time? <laughs> you forgot, I'm not the only one. 3.30. 3 in meeting room 1, 2, or here? Meeting room 1, so. Okay, to, to make the changes that we've approve the changes we've made, adjustments we've made to the budgetary process. And, and this is get any other <laughs> Quite possibly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Motion to it. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. Jeff's 60,000 for sure. <laughs> okay. Uh, motion to adjourn? Okay. We're adjourned.